His works flow out of the new creation life. John 14 verse 19. A little while longer and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. So here's another very important statement Jesus made subsequent to his uh, statement in John 14, 12. He said, the works he did we will do and even greater works than that, those we will do because he went to the Father. And subsequent to making that statement, Jesus says in John 14, 19, because I live, you also will live. Now, of course, one aspect of it is the eternal resurrection that we will all have. Just as Jesus Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, every believer, every born again saint of God will be raised up from the dead and we will live eternally. And that is true. But there is also another aspect of this life. It is the new creation life that we receive. He is the first begotten from the dead. He is a firstborn among many brethren. That means he was raised up so that you and I could be raised up and be born again spiritually. Until Jesus Christ was raised up from the dead, no person could be born again. The work of, of redemption and salvation was not uh, possible, it was not complete. But when Jesus Christ was raised up from the dead, now we could <clears throat> be born again. We could have the life of God in our spirits. We could become sons and daughters of God because He lives. We also live, which means we are new creation people. And out of this new creation comes forth the mighty works of God. Through our new creation life, we are partakers of the divine nature. And through us, as new creation people, the Lord manifests Himself. He does the mighty works. Uh, he reveals His glory. He reveals uh, who He is. So it is important for us to understand that the mighty works of God take place through us. The works He did and even greater works take place through every believer because each one is born again and has the capacity uh, to release the works of God. You see, in the Old Testament, there were only isolated certain people, one or two, uh, you know, the certain prophets, certain individuals who did and demonstrated the power of God. Would you come over to the New Testament and he says, everyone who believes in me will do the works I did, I do, and greater works because everyone is born again, is born anew, and can now carry the, the life of God, the power of God, the authority of God, and do the works he did. In fact, Jesus said, the least one in the kingdom is greater than the greatest of the Old Testament prophet. Think about that, that the least one in the kingdom, born again, full of the Holy Ghost, greater than John the Baptist, the greatest of the Old Testament prophets. The reason, one of the reasons why every believer can do the works Jesus did greater works is because every believer has new creation life in him or her who is born again and therefore the Spirit of God is at work in us. The Spirit of God can work through us so that we manifest the works of Christ. You are a believer. It uh, doesn't matter what your role, your place is in the body. You may be a, you know, a, a just doing some basic things, helping others and so on, but through you the works of God will be made manifest. You are born again into the kingdom, and the least in the kingdom will do the works He did and greater works. Let's pray. Father, we thank You. Because He lives, we live. We are born again, born anew. And through each one of us, the works Jesus did and greater works will take place. Help us to expect it. Help us to step out on it. Wherever we go in our day, Help us, Lord, to minister and see the mighty works Jesus did take place through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.